All right, guys, I know the lighting around my fingers is not the best. Um, we're not worried about that, so worry about yourself. Anywho, we're going to do this real wrap raw real quick, just so I can show you the planner. This is not like a perfect planning video. So I just want to show you what this is. So obviously, this is the new business planner that I put out. This first page is your readme page. So it has just information on the planner itself and just like a little note about me whatever then it comes into like a little poem that I've supplied one of my favorite poems for creative entrepreneurs to kind of motivate you nothing exciting here's a table of contents and each of these takes you to that section so if you wanted to go to about business you click on about business and in this section it has all the contents so about my business overview, the details, key elements of a brand, brand identity. So again, clicking on any one of these will take you to that particular page. Once you're in this page, if you want to get back to the table of contents, you're going to click these three little, you can't see it, but these, these like four like a, um, stackable menu, whatever the heck they're called. I forgot what the, the actual name of it is, but you click on it, it'll take you back right to the menu. Any of these things will take you to the section it corresponds to. Like that again if you don't remember what they are you can go right back to the table of contents and press from there you can press from here etc you get the point um, table of contents this little icon right here with a notebook is going to take you to the template shop the template shop is just templates that are not like if you need more of a one particular template it's going to give you an empty copy of it obviously so if you needed more weekly plan templates, you would click on weekly plan and it'll take you there. Again, this always takes you back to those menus. You can go back to the template shop and click on anything else that you may want to get dotted paper. So we have weekly plan, we have monthly plan template, we have 30 days, we have meeting notes, project planner, product planner, expense checklist, receipts for taxes, brain dump, dotted paper, lined paper, and to-do list. So you can create and copy any one of those. Obviously, if you are in the section that has the, let's go back to the sections, right? If you are in a section that has like the business goals, if you go into the to-do list and you're here and you are at the end of this, so you are writing something here. If you, you can go back into the template shop and duplicate it, but you can also go here and just click on the plus button and click on current template and it'll give you another one. So now you have two. And all of these will still be hyperlinked. So this is kind of like a to-do li to list, kind of like a brain dump to-do list. So you can just dump everything that you need from there. So now I'm going to take you back to the sections. In the main page in the contents, if you click on the little I, it's going to take you to the guide. The guide is going to tell you what the main toolbar navigation are what these things mean and the second page is the color palette and some information about me basically this right here if you're new to digital planning scan this code and it'll take you to the digital planning series that i have here on youtube now let's go back to table of contents so i'm going to show you instead of like clicking on everything so like as you know every page every section is going to have a cover page and it's going to list the items in that section and you can go to those sections by obviously clicking on the items the only one that doesn't have any is the weekly planner because it's just one page and all you would do here is again you would copy the page to for the next week so I didn't want to like I'm not going to list out all of your weeks because that would be insane so let's go back to the beginning so after the business planner you have um, your business overview so this is about your business you can write your tagline your let me do this your tagline your mission statement selling points your details website hours target marketing this is just a little quote 
this is the brand section so I just wanted to inform you what the key elements of a strong brand are so that way you know how to fill out the next pages so again here this is your brand you can put your logo your fonts your alternate logo tagline how will you align with your message design style and then here is your voice so it's going to say how the brand is communicated address specific needs how to humanize the brand formula you know you get it you fill out this stuff and then here is kind of like a mood board um, for your brand you can write in your hex colors here you can write in the whatever fonts or typography you use for your business um, and here's just a quick mood board you can drop in pictures of what you'd like it to look like and then you can put your logo up here here's your audience who are you serving who will you who will listen how will you make them feel blah 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 you get it fill it out your ideal client their pain points ideal experience etc um, I put this about section you can either drop a picture of them in there or some kind of mood boarding I even have things like the age occupation interest and bio if you need that as well and if any page doesn't apply to you or you don't want to use it you can either leave it on there skip it or you can just delete it it won't mess up the functions at the bottom at all so so this is a client journey so what this is is if you have different type of or you can call them like workflow whatever so this was the client journey so what this does is kind of maps out the journey that your client will go in like it'll start from clicks on newsletter then adds to list sends first email email whatever um, since whatever whatever that looks like from when a client signs up to to book with you all the way down to the end product which is obviously to sign on with you or buy whatever you are selling so you want to identify what those are and you can use this over and over again you can obviously just change this out from client journey to whatever you want it to be and kind of map out every single thing that you do for your business from point A to point Z Obviously, this is the business income. It's self-explanatory. Here's a little information of what this section would be. Here you can track all of your bills all for all the months. You can write out the due date, the expense, and how much it costs. And this is obviously business expenses. We're not writing out your personal stuff. This is all business. If you have courses, things you pay for monthly, um, fees for your website, all that stuff. And again, the same thing with this is your expense, expense checklist. And again, if you need more, the template shop has another one for you. Or you can simply, obviously, um, make a copy of it at the top. So this is something cool that I wanted to do. A spot for your receipts. I know we get a lot of receipts that we have to file for taxes. But here's an easy way to keep them in here. So you can either scan it with your phone. Scan a picture of an actual receipt. Or bring in your email and bring just the important pieces of that email receipt or a screenshot of your of your bank and put them in here so I would drop it this is just an example I don't really have one but I don't know this was a receipt just drop it in there write whatever notes you want about it and then that way when tax season comes around you can refer to this you can print it out you can give it to your person that does the accounting or whatever the case so this is your annual profit tracker just to showcase you know your losses and gains so you always want to check that out and this is again by the month total you know you you know business uh, business stuff so this is your business income when you come to a page that has these months listed on the cover that means that you are going to have one template for every every month so obviously if you click on any of these it'll take you to that monthly income and in the monthly income you're going to write the goal that you want are you going to advertise and how much is that going to cost you your return on investment the final monthly income final monthly expenses and the monthly profit so even though we have the annual profit overview this is bi-monthly so we're going to skip all of that and go straight to our next section i think yes so this is our growth analysis this is going to track our social media newsletters things like that anything to grow our business so we have first our swot analysis what strengths what weaknesses you have opportunities threats you know what a swot analysis is <clears throat> this is a social media tracker again it's by month so every month has a new one you want to track your numbers 
for Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, newsletters. I added TikTok because I know a lot of people are on it and something else. Like you can add whatever other platform that I may have listed on here. And again, the same thing, it goes for every single month. And then here I specifically added one for Instagram because I know it's very popular and one for TikTok. And it's just the number of followers, the followers growth, number of posts, total likes, total comments, total saves, total shares, etc. And then the week of whatever month you're tracking this for. And then here's a marketing plan. So that one's a tracker, right? We wanna see the growth. We wanna analyze that growth. But here's the actual sit down to plan your, your marketing basically. So here's a marketing planner. You're gonna just put in what are you trying to, what items are you trying to market? What key tools and resources are you using? What marketing strategy you're gonna use for that? The product service, um, et cetera. Here's a spot that you can list out all your affiliate links. So the name of the affiliate, the website you need to use to log in, your login. You can put your passwords optional here and whatever notes you have. So if you have like a specific code, you can write it here like code 356 for that particular affiliate and so forth. And once again, you can make a copy of it if you need more spaces. Then here's just something I added, um, just 30 days of social media to kind of inspire you to create, you know, 30 days of posts. You don't have to use them for every single day. Maybe you use this once a week instead. So you do this the first week of June, the second week of June, third week, you, you get it. Or you can use it every day. And then of course, in the template shop, I have an actual blank one that you can fill in for yourself. Here's a social media planning again. It's just what are you gonna plan, blank, but um, what are you gonna plan for every day? This could be keep copying it and make one for Instagram, one for Facebook, one for whatever, and kind of write out what you'd like these to be. And then just write out the month down here. And then we have a content planner. So content planner is very different from your social media planner because you wanna take a look at all of your marketing things kind of combined so what what topics do you want to talk about for this month on all your business platforms right and then whatever finalized content titles you may have for that so that's what that is and then we move into the weekly planner so it's just a great way to organize your week so anything related to your business that you want to plan Again, this is a business planner. Um, so anything related to your business, you want to write out what you're gonna do on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you get it. And then the plan, what priorities are for the week that you want to focus on for the week and what goals do you have for the week for your business. And then lastly is business goals. So we wanna, it's a mind map. If you have something that you're thinking of an idea, oh, I got this great idea, I want to start an Etsy shop. So you, you just writing, the ideas that come with planning that. So you will write planning, not planning, you will write Etsy shop, right? And then you would branch off to whatever ideas you want all of these to kind of connect to that main one. That's basically all it is. It's just a mind man, kind of like a brain dub. Um, if it gets too complicated, you do not have to use it. And then of course, it's just a brain dump to-do list. I created two copies, of course. Here's a goal planner. Just whatever goal you have, whether it's a huge goal like YouTube channel, get to 1,000 subscribers, you will do the goal, action steps, motivation, the strategy. You can track the progress by filling this in. So if I were to do it with a thing like that, I can kind of do that. Some people like to do just lines like that. You get it. Um, let's clear all of that. And then we have a quarterly task. So everything you wanna do for the quarters. And so this is, whoop, so this is June, not June, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, and what goals you have for each of the different quarters. Lastly is the year in review. Not lastly, but there's another page after this. So just simple, my big wins, big achievements, lessons I learned, what I'll stop doing, what worked, improvements to make. 
um, meeting notes if you have a meeting with a client or a meeting with your staff you can write down whatever meetings were part of whatever agendas you have whatever to-do list you have for that meeting who attended and so forth this is just a brain dump just it's you it's almost like a to it's not really a to-do list but just things that you want to accomplish or things not accomplish i would say this is more for like ideas so where that to-do list is more for things that you actually want to do this one would be more for ideas like whatever ideas that may pop up in your head like oh i want to start a a campaign i want to do a giveaway i want to do the it's not necessarily a to-do list but it's just getting all those ideas out of your head and here is the good stuff literally so what this is is every time you get something good from your followers or if you have a YouTube channel and you and you left a lovely comment I want you to say take a screenshot of that and put it in here so just like the receipts I wish I had a comment here but I do not okay let's just say this was a comment I screenshotted this from my YouTube channel let's just say I put that in here I can even write the date or whatever and when you're feeling down about your business when you feel like it's not moving when you need a little pick-me-up a little motivation I want you to come in here and read all the things that you have put in this place and once again you can just copy for more um, this is really really detrimental to mental health um, especially when you're a business owner a creator you just want to look back on the good stuff so that's what that is. Project planner is self-explanatory. It's to plan your projects. Whatever project you got going on, just plan it, timeline, meeting, notes, whatever. And then a product planner is if you have actual physical products or an Etsy shop or some type of product that you are having in your business. This is just going to help you to figure out how to plan that product out. And then, of course, the template shop that I already showed and all the templates behind it and I believe that was it so one last thing whenever you go into any of the planners that have a month like this at the top you obviously are going to be able to tap each month to go directly to that month so if you have any questions on the business planner please leave a comment down below and I'll be able to answer you or leave me a message in my DMs on my Instagram I'll put it up on the screen now okay bye